As you drive into work this morning, you might notice silk webs forming on trees. The fall web worms are showing up in record numbers, especially for people in Southside. Let's picture from Stuart Sutphin of a tree just outside Danville, completely covered. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire checked in with an expert at Virginia Tech. And Aaron, why are some people seeing so many of these this year? Yeah, Jen, it is crazy. Some people are seeing a ton of these webworms. Now, the bugs are cyclical, which means they appear every fall, but some areas will see more than others. Like in Roanoke, things are looking about average this fall. Drive up I-81, and you'll see some of those tents in trees along the highway. Maybe you'll see one or two in your backyard as well. But for people in the Martinsville, Henry County, really the whole south side area, they are seeing a lot more of those bugs than they tend to see each year. Now, while the insects can cause some major damage to the branches and leaves wild, while they're here, Eric Day with the Virginia Tech Insect Identification Lab tells me that damage luckily won't last forever. It is mostly cosmetic. It's like a lot of defoliators. It's kind of sporadic. It shows up, it pops up, it causes a lot of damage. But the trees tend to have good recovery ability, and so next year, very good chance the trees will put leaves back out and do pretty well. Now, the webworms aren't picky either. While they do prefer certain trees, they're known to feed on more than 100 species of plants here in the U.S. And one plant they're especially drawn to is hops. It's something that could be bad news here in Virginia as more and more craft breweries continue to pop up all over the state. Hops, kind of a high value crop, monitored very carefully. Generally, the growers for hops are picking it up pretty quickly and, and getting, getting rid of it when they first see it. But it's, you know, it's, it does cause other problems. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll have details on how to catch these webworms early and keep the problem from happening in your trees. Live in Roanoke, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.